Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm. And I'm Dennis and today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a FTP account on CyberPanel and to be able to use that account to log in via a FTE uh, application such as CyberDuck or in this case it's going to be FileZilla and be able to upload or download to other servers using this particular account. So the first thing I need you to do is to go to your account that's under the cyber panel in my case it's going to be omni majestic.com and of course the cyber panel port is 8090 when it logs you in and if you already don't have to log in like mine just go into it go to the left and find ftp click and create ftp account of course if you got multiple websites They'll all be listed right here. For my particular website on this IP address, I only have one, Omni Majestic. Username, you can name it anything. You can leave it like it is, but I'm naming mine VS Vortex. FTP passcode, you can have it generate you one or put yours in. I'm putting mine in, and I'm leaving the path alone, and I'm going to create FTP. FTP account successfully created it's that easy now we can go back can verify it, list FTP accounts pick the domain that we used and of course as you see it shows the FTP account the directory and everything and how to change so here's the thing if you haven't already downloaded FileZilla go ahead and do so but it's my belief you probably have but I'll show you how F-I-L-E Z I L L A dot net. This is a good little FTP file program. And I've used it before and it's pretty good. Pick whatever operating system you want. When you go into it, click download FileZilla client. Of course, here's the pay version on Apple. I'm sure Windows or something may have one too. This was with the manual. I think it's just a few dollars. And this is the free version. For what I do to download the free version is plenty. Just go ahead and download it, get it up and going. And then when you do, you click into it like I am. And what it'll do, it'll bring you to this particular site where it shows your host name. And that's going to be your IP address. So that's in your username. And passcode is just going to be your account that you already just set up at CyberPanel. Of course, if we go port 22 is normal, but port 21, it tells you when you highlight it. Quick connect. And on the left side is my local site, Diaz Vortex. That's where all my files are saved and located. And the remote site, once I connect, will be Omni Majestic. And let me give you an idea of just, just how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my host name, which is my IP address. 216.128.136.63 now that account I just put in usually we would have to go back into where the back section of your uh, web host or whatever and get the root name and then get the, uh, the copy the passcode and put everything into it this way or, or like that but right now since we've set up an account just specifically for cyber panel we could just use that in my case, it's admin underscore DS Vortex and the passcode I put in myself. Makes it so much easier. Hit quick connect. Of course, it's asking me, do I trust this? And I'm going to put yes, always in the future. And that's how quick it brings it over. I don't have to search for it. I won't have to, if I got multiple domains or uh, websites i don't have to pick go through there find the file pick through it or whatever it just pops that particular website up which is awesome now i can do any kind of file transfer from this remote site to here and then vice versa if i had another site i want to go to i could set up an account if it's already with cyber panel and uh, open up a new tab and do it go ahead and upload it to it Again, this is how you set up a user account for FTP 
in Cyber Panel and use it with FileZilla. Y'all give me a like, thumbs up, comment below. 